In that deadly shooting spree in Charlotte earlier this week, yesterday we told you two arrests have been made in this case, and one of those suspects faced a judge today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Bryan. And I'm Jamie Bull. This story has many people talking, many people concerned for their safety. So in the early morning hours on Tuesday, CMPD responded to four separate shootings all around the same time, but spread out in the city. You can see where each of those shootings occurred on your screen. One of them was deadly, all believed to be random. Let's bring in our Jason Puckett. He was in the courtroom today where one of the two suspects faced a judge. Jason, what came out of court today? Yeah, I want to start off by reading a bit of one of those documents that we looked at today that was presented to the court. It says that the unnamed 16 year old in this case actually told police after his arrest that he and 18 year old Carlos Roberto Diaz were at a party early Tuesday morning and then that they left and quote drove around the city shooting at people. Now this was part of a serious felony first degree murder charge that was actually postponed today being pushed to superior court. Bottom line, it means Roberto Diaz will be in jail at least through the end of the month. No bond was the official court ruling Friday morning, meaning Carlos Roberto Diaz cannot bond out of jail. The 18-year-old is facing an extensive list of charges, including first-degree murder, felony conspiracy, five counts of attempted first-degree murder, and more. We're still asking the same questions. Why would two juveniles engage in this type of behavior on random victims? Deputy Chief Tanya Arrington explained Thursday that Roberto Diaz and an unnamed 16-year-old were arrested and linked to a spree of seemingly random drive-by shootings that happened early Tuesday morning. Just after 1 a.m., 58-year-old Mustafa Muhammad was shot seemingly at random as he drove through the intersection of Statesville Drive and Tipton Drive. He was killed. Then over the next half hour, they shot at multiple cyclists and groups of people, putting two other victims in the hospital with gunshot wounds. Police say the arrests Thursday happened after a routine traffic stop. Officers identified the 16-year-old and say he was carrying a stolen firearm. Officers believe that he was out there actively looking for another opportunity. Those living nearby shared relief knowing police had made arrests and believed there was no further threat to the area. I'm glad they've been caught, you know. Keep everything down so everybody can be, you know, in a safe area. Yeah, and that court hearing this morning is really just the first step in what will be a long legal court process for Roberto Diaz. He is now scheduled to appear in Superior Court on July 31st. As for that unnamed 16-year-old, well, he is going to be going through the juvenile detention process, so it may be some time before we have actual details about his current status. We'll, of course, bring you those updates as soon as we have them. For now, here at the Mecklenburg County Courthouse, Jason Puckett, WBTV, on your side. We're following